Paul, the FIA World Council seems to take forever to make their mind up. One minute you didn't have a licence, then you did, and then just before Christmas, finally the good news. Oh, it's the best Christmas present ever. And, you know, they had to go through the proper process with the medical committee rec making a recommendation, but the World Council made the decision in December to change the rules so that drivers with monocular vision, one-eyed drivers, get assessed as an individual. So Which is what you were always campaigning for, yeah? we were yeah. always talking about. No more blanket ban. And there we have the licence. <laughs> I'm can't. It's still, i a kid with a new toy. I'm so excited because it enables me to go on and fulfil my dream. But not just me, but no. anyone who unfortunately has lost sight in one eye, all like it or having an accident. There isn't this sort of artificial barrier. If you can yeah. do it, you can do it. And now you're at the Auto Sport Show and what are you going to do with the licence? You're about to announce some plans, I understand. Yeah, it's tremendous. So we're going to announce today that uh, forming my own team, Drayson Racing, and doing a full season of Le Mans Racing, starting off in Sebring with the American Le Mans Series again, then coming over to Europe, doing the full European series, hoping to get an entry in Le Mans 24 hours in June, and, and then ending the series with the two races in Asia. So that's in Shanghai, China, Mount Fuji, Japan. We're going to be driving with Johnny again. Sticking with the Aston Martin. Sticking with the Aston Martin. From, from my point of view, the learning curve as a driver, building on everything that I learned last year, it's going to be really helpful. It won't be all for the first time again. Mm -hmm. And uh, really looking forward to a great season's racing. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Tim. It's great.